If you're watching this video, it means you are ready for a challenge. And this challenge I call conversion combos. And basically what that means is when you are starting or ending with a combination of units. So far, we've only been turning one unit into another single unit. But there are times when we have conversion combos. So let's take a look at what I mean here. If you take a look, the first um, thing that we're going to try is when you're starting with a conversion combo. So what I mean by conversion combo is if you kind of take a look here, we have two different units. We have a combination of units to start with. And if you take a look, just so you can kind of see what we're doing, we are ending in one of those units. We will always be ending in the second unit there. And what makes sense here, guys, is we've been working on changing one unit to another. We don't have to change pounds to pounds. So we're actually not going to have to do anything with the pounds for now. We are sort of going to ignore the pounds for now. So I'm going to kind of circle it so that I am going to not forget about it later, but it's not something that I need to worry about right now. What I do need to worry about is changing tons into pounds. So basically I want to figure out three tons plus 150 pounds more would be how many pounds. So some of the same strategies that we've been doing are going to continue. We have our T chart, T chart, excuse me. And then this is the hardest part is copy, 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 copy. I'm not doing copy, 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 copy. It is still just copy, 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 copy. Since I'm not changing pounds to pounds, I'm ignoring this for right now. I'm going to be changing tons to pounds. I'm just going to do LBS for my abbreviation. Now, very next step that I would do is I look at my cheat sheet and I know that one ton is the same as 2,000 pounds. So that I can get right from my cheat sheet. All right, so now I am going to continue to do what I've always done. I am going to go ahead and circle my starting number. My starting number is 3. My connecting number is 2,000. So I know my starting number is 3. My connecting number is 2,000. And since they are diagonal from each other, I know that I'm going to multiply. And so I know that I can do a little box and dot here. 3 times 2 is 6 with three zeros tacked on to that. So before, that would have been my answer. But what makes this a little bit different is I wasn't changing three tons into pounds. I'm changing three tons plus 150 more pounds. So right now, this 6,000 represents 6,000 pounds. But what I had kind of put to the side is this 150 pounds. I now need to add this amount to the amount of pounds I have already to find my total number of pounds. So if you kind of take a look, obviously 6,000 plus 150 would be 6,150. Again, I figured out how to change the three tons into 6,000 pounds, but I needed to add on that additional poundage that I had there. So let's take a look here. You can see I have a conversion combo. I have two different units. But as I showed you, that second unit is always going to be what we're changing it into. So what I'm actually going to do for now is I am just going to ignore it because I don't need to change milliliters into milliliters. It already is milliliters. So I'm going to go ahead and change liters and find out how many milliliters, four liters equal to. So I have my T chart. That's not going to change. Again, I'm still just going to copy, 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 copy. Since I'm ignoring milliliters for now, I have copy, 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 copy. And I'm going to look at my cheat sheet. I know milli, believe it or not, means a thousandth. So I know that one liter is the same as one thousand milliliters. I am going to circle my starting number is four. My connecting number is a thousand. So my starting number is four. My connecting number is a thousand. They are diagonal. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply. And I don't even need a box and dot. Four times one thousand gives me a total of four thousand. So I know that four liters is four thousand milliliters. But I can't forget that I also started with 
an additional 1,000 milliliters. So I need to add those 1,000 milliliters onto the 4,000 that I had from the 4 liters to get a final total of 5,000 milliliters. I know I did them quick, but you're going to go ahead and pause the video. Don't put your Chromebook away. You're going to pause. You're going to go ahead and try one on the worksheet, try a couple on the worksheet, and then uh, you'll come back to this and we'll figure out what will happen when you're ending with a conversion combo. All right, let's take a look at what happens when you are ending with a conversion combo. You can see here's my equal sign. I'm only starting with a single unit, but I'm actually ending with two units. And again, one of those units is a match from the original starting unit. So that's going to play a role here. I will tell you right now that these examples, if you kind of remember back from the beginning examples, both of these were multiplication problems. They both required us to multiply the ingredients. When you are ending with a conversion combo, that will happen if you're dividing. And up until now, every division problem has always come out evenly. But there are times when we're dividing and we have a remainder. That remainder is going to cause that conversion combo. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. We're going to do our regular T-chart. And we're going to go ahead and copy, 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 copy. This is important. We're not going to copy, 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 copy. We're just going to copy, copy, and I'm going to put QT. And then I'm going to, it wouldn't make any sense for me to do that. I would never change quarts into quarts, and that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. So when I'm copying the other one, I'm going to be doing the different one, which is gallons. Because essentially here what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out how many gallons I can make out of 15 quarts, but it's not going to work out evenly. and I'm going to have leftover quarts that don't fit into those gallons. So I know that there are four quarts in one gallon. I get that from my cheat sheet. And now I'm going to go ahead and circle my starting number, circle my connecting number. You can see that division symbol pop up there. So I'm starting with 15. My connecting number is 4, and I'm going to go ahead and divide. Now I'm going to just reset this up a little bit differently. And I know that um, 4 times what gets me closest to 15. This is a math fact, not a long division problem. So I can even think of my target number as 15, because I do know that 4 times 4 would be 16. That's too high. But 4 times 3 is 12. And that means I am three away from my target number. And so I end up with a remainder of three. So this three here is telling me how many full gallons I can make. And then this three here is telling me how many quarts that I have left over that don't fit. Now, if you don't totally understand, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. If you don't totally understand what I'm saying there, um, I'm trying to get to something that I can't get to and that's okay. Um, I want you to imagine that I had 15 cues. So I'm going to see if I can't make that happen for you. Two, three, I'm going to do this much quicker in a second, four, five, and then if I take all of this and I Clone that, that would be 10, and clone that. So there's my 15 quarts that we're starting with. And, you know, obviously it takes four of these to make a gallon. So you can kind of picture we're taking them and dividing them into groups of four. So there's one gallon, there's two gallons, there's three gallons. I don't have enough to make another gallon. So what you're seeing here is I can make three gallons, and then I have three quarts left over. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one more example, T-chart, and then of course we are going to copy, copy, because we want to change minutes, and we're going to change those minutes into hours. We're not going to change minutes into minutes, so I don't need to write that here. And I know that 60 minutes is the same thing as one hour, so I'm going to go ahead and circle my starting number and circle my connecting number. That's clearly division, so I have 315 divided by 60. 
Now, I do not want to draw 315 minutes and then circle groups of 60. That would take all day. But you can kind of imagine that happening, that I'm going to be circling groups of 60 to make an hour. But I'm not going to have an even number. So if I have 315, I'm going to divide that by 60. Do a little digit box if that's what helps you for this one. Didn't give me very much space here. I know 60 times 0 gets me closest. That lands at 0, so I'm 3 away. Throw the 3 up here. I know 60 times 0 again uh, gets me closest to 31, so now I'm 31 away. So now I have the target number, not very helpful, of 315. Um, I do know that 5 will get me 5 times 6 is 30 plus a 0. So that gets me to 300, and I am 15 away. 15 minutes can't make another hour, so that becomes a remainder of 15. So this 5 tells me how many full hours I can make, and then these are the 15 minutes that didn't fit into a group. Okay. Um, if you're struggling with division, another strategy could be something like this. Okay, so hour and minute. You could do something like this where, okay, one hour is 60 minutes, two hours would be another 60, so that would be 120, three hours, that would be another 60, even if you need to set up an addition problem, 120 plus 60, but I can count by sixes, so I can do this, four times 60 is 240, 5 times 60 is 300. You can even set up little multiplication problems where, you know, 60 times 4, well, that would be box and dot. That would be 24 with a 0. So you can kind of see a strategy here. And obviously, if you kept going, 3 times 60 would be 360. So that would be too high. So you can see here I can make 5 full hours, which is what we had up here, and then there's 15 minutes that don't fit. There's lots of different strategies, but that's how you end with a conversion combo. This is it. You can now put your Chromebook away because there isn't any more of this video. You're going to try some that end with a conversion combo. Good luck.